Well, I just want to say, I just want to say that um, I've been through a divorce before to the extreme and deceit is a reason to get a divorce. And deceit can be, you can literally file a divorce because you found out after you got married that your husband is a kingpin. That means you're always going to tell a story. But I'm just giving an example. But that law has always been there. I, I think what you're talking about is like now there's a nuance to it because of these transgender people who may or may not want to tell somebody what they are because they went to the extreme to legally be recognized as a certain gender. But deceit has always been an option to legally separate yourself from someone that you legally binded yourself with because you feel you found out afterwards that this person is not who you thought they were. Just put it out there. I think the, I think the elephant in the room is do by law do does a does a non biological woman is she obligated? Is there any policy or any terms or anything? Or statutes saying that she's obligated to reveal her original biological identity. So in California and New so no in California and New York, um, you can actually be sued if you don't address them specifically as a woman and you add trans or all that other stuff to it, according to this thing. So Michigan, they tried to do it, but I think it was struck and down according to uh is misgendering a violation of state or federal law. So because they're arguing that when you misgender somebody, uh, the impact of misgendering somebody is an act of emotional violence. The oh, consequences yeah. range from fines to mandatory training aiming to create a respectful uh, environment. Federal laws bring another layer to this issue. Title, what is this, five or four? Originally drafted to prevent sex-based discrimination in educational settings has evolved. Now it can be applied to cases of misgendering, viewing it as a form of discrimination. So, so, so my point stands. A woman is not obligated, uh, a, a non-biological woman is not obligated to reveal that she was a biological male in the first place. Which means that the, the deceit thing is, it doesn't hold any weight. It, it holds weight personally, but it's nothing. It's nothing you can do to something that actually holds her accountable if she doesn't do it. Yeah, if you in, if in you, the U.S. You didn't want to hold her accountable and you wanted to be violent, I think he's. I think law stated something. That's how people get hurt, or that's how things happen. I think whenever it gets to that extreme, and you actually go to court and try to justify your your response or the violence that you 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 took on with this person who may have deceived you, that's a. I think that's a losing battle right there in the court. I would also say, depending on which state that podcast, your podcast took place in, if in fact some of the things that Marcus said at misgendering or, or mislabeling somebody was a thing in that area, then that woman that was having a conversation with you could probably uh, win a case against you by fouling against you and saying that you misgendered her during that conversation. How? Does not hear. He's saying. He's saying if it was a state where it was, it it, it, it no, I'm saying, but how did I misgender her if I said you're a trans woman? That's a fact. Well, so that, that very statement right there, and then saying that she was she was something else before. She can sit, she can literally use that against you, according so? to what Marcus just said. Right, but I'm saying how so if she said herself she's trans. You know what I'm saying? Well, if she's she saying said, herself she's transgender. Then that's that's one thing. That's then then you're justified to say what you say. But if she never if she never said that she's a trans woman, and she said, "Hey, I'm a woman," but you somehow found out that she was a trans woman, or let's just say it's apparent apparent this woman has an Adam album and all this other shit going on, and she looked like a dude with a wig, and you just say, "Hey, look, I know you're not a real woman," and you could really be in some serious trouble. Oh it, well, do y'all charge? Me. Do y'all consider a man who who get what what do you, what do you consider a man after he gets tricked? Like, say he got tricked. Do y'all consider him gay at that point? No. No, you got to understand. Being gay isn't being gay doesn't come from being abused or I mean I'm not saying be, being come come from being abused. Being as gay is is a desire. You desire the the homosexual. You you desire the uh the same sex. It's a it's a sexual desire for it. That means that you're gay. 
But if somebody takes you, that doesn't mean you're gay. It means you got raped. Great. Yeah, that just so, means you were you were you were violated or abused or whatever. Viol- assaulted. And that's a sex. So is that a sexual violation? If what a sexual violation? The whole topic that we're talking about. The whole if topic you talking about? Yeah. If we, if they don't disclose that they are a natural man, born a man, you know what I'm saying? Is that sexual violation? Well, you. No, it's not a violation. You yeah. consented in the intercourse. You did with a woman. You with can, a woman. Okay, That's but not, that person identifies as a woman. That doesn't make it real. That's a mental. Disorder. I didn't say it. I didn't say it make it real. I just said it's not assault. You consented with a woman. What what you thought a woman? Exactly. It doesn't make so you that, gay. It just made. It just means you made a fucking it means, mistake. <laughs> it's, so now it's a mistake. It doesn't mean you were just taken advantage of. That was literally yeah. Assault, you can you could bro. you could say that you were you were Listen. finessed. All right. So look, what's no different? It's no different. It's no different. You going? It's no different than you picking up a girl and you got nah, human rights all all over there and you and you smash her and she think you could make two hundred thousand. Come to nah, find out, you make average wages. This is no different than that. No, it's absolutely different, and I will tell you why. It's also how one thing that I believe in Saint Saint. Let me. Remind me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the term coercion uh, a big deal in that conversation? We were talking mm-hmm. about like when you co- so so now if the if it's flipped around, somebody can coerce you into sex, and now that's a charge. But mm-hmm. but deceiving you, that's not one. You coerce them into having sex with you, thinking you were a natural woman and you were not. Coercion now, listen, is a if big if deal. You ask, throw around if, you, if you're asking me if it's wrong, I can tell you that it's wrong. But if you sitting here asking me that it's an actual charge, that means that I have the, I have the answer from a legal point. I, I, I don't know. A charge? I, can, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that right because I don't have that information. Well, well, to 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 add some context, they are trying to expand what coercion is because technically coercion under the law right now, as it is, is under the threat of violence. That's coercion. Or under the threat of something. So, like you, if you no, that's how it is. If you look up coercion under the law as it is right now, but that doesn't go against what law said. That's what they're trying to change it to. They're trying to expand it to where coercion means to deceive someone. Also, so in this ten, so in Coer- this, hold on. Oh. Okay, I got you. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. yeah. So that's what they're trying to expand it to now. Is that they're trying to say that. They want to include coercion as in deception. If you if you tell me that you're a millionaire, you're not a millionaire, and you have that's that's coercion. Or for in this instance, then if they change the definition to that, then what law would be saying is correct. If you tell me you're biological, if you come in and you're and you say you're biologically a woman, that you're a woman, but then I find out you are a man later, that is great by coercion. Okay, so that is different because you you switched the terms. You said if you tell me that you're a biological woman, but that that changes things. If she tells you she's a woman, that's different. But if she tells you she's a biological woman, that means she was born a woman. You get what I'm saying? But what does it mean when somebody insane. says I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a woman? So y'all y'all can't insane. really see the, y'all can't that's identify the contrast between a woman stating, is a woman. Oh, that's, that's too I, listen, we all know that a woman is so a woman. One, a woman is only one thing. Yeah, we we. I don't think we're arguing that part. I think we're arguing the the the. I guess you could say the semantics, right? Biological woman it means you was born a woman. Woman can mean anything. That means you can you can be born a woman or you can be transitioned into a woman. Can we at least agree to, agree to that? No. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I'm saying. Not I'm not saying agree to it as we accepted that and we understand that and we promote it. I'm saying we agree to that, that that's what's going on in society today. It is going on, and I do not agree with it in society nor in the concept. Right, I agree right. it exists. So, 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 by, so by, no means, by no means do we need to go out on the record to state whether our position on it or whether we agree with it. We're just trying to get an understanding of how things are so we can have a conversation to figure out if things are legal or things are, you know, whatever. So if uh, if somebody tricks me or tries like if like so say like the situation where where, where they was describing and something occurred and you find out later that it's a man, I'm gonna plead temporary insanity. 
I'm pleading temporary insanity. Agreed. 